So today I'm with BB. BB, how old are you? I'm 66. BB, what is going on with you? Um, are you out here on the streets? What's happening? Um, yes, I've been on the streets for like um, maybe two, three years. And they foreclosed our house. You lost your house due to foreclosure? My dad, yeah. And are you using blues? Um, not really. I'm, I'm going to, uh, I just got at the hospital. And so I'm, I'm really not into doing it. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I, you know, once in a while. But I'm going to detox, hopefully this weekend or Monday. You'll be going to detox today yes. or tomorrow? Yes. To, for detox for blues? Yeah. Okay. When did you start using blues? Uh, about two years. How were you int introduced to them about two years ago? I just, um, just watching everybody. Out here on the streets? Yeah. Do you have like children or family that can help you? Um, uh, no, not really. You have no children? I, no. I got children, yes. I'm not, I got children, but I got some in California and I got some here, but they're doing their own thing. So you can't really count on them? Not really count on them, they're just doing their own, they're, they're just doing their own thing, you know. I don't want to uh, bother them and be a burden to them. You choose not to have them try to help you? Uh, if, I, if I could choose that, yes, <laughs> most definitely. But like I said, they got their, they got their thing. You know, they're doing their own thing. Their own drama, their own issues, basically, yes. their own problems. Yeah. Got it. Um, there's lots of people out here from all ages, BB. Uh, I've seen 15-year-olds. I see the youngest, the youngest I've seen is 13, smoking wow. blues. The oldest I've seen was like 75 or something. Oh and yeah, it, there's different ages. Yeah. Different. Different. Different types, different colors, different ages, different shapes. Different backgrounds, whether yeah. they're rich, poor, like, educated, not educated. They probably have, you know, a rough life, dysfunctional, you know, dysfunctional family. And they probably been through, through a lot of problems too, you know, as far as the parents being um, um, into drugs, you know, yeah. too, you know. They say it runs in the genes, but, you know, it really doesn't. It, it depends on you, yourself, and, and, and the individual. It's not because mom has been doing this for so long. It's, it's up to you. It's, it's up to you, mentally, mentally and physically. It's each individual's decision exactly. to be out here or to st start using it's, blues or yeah. substances? They just run, they fall into it. They fall into that hole. Do you think you fell into that hole? A long time ago. A long time ago. And I regret every minute of it. I do. So the first time you fell in that hole, was it like G or different substances? Heroin. H. You went straight to H. Wow. Yeah, black guy and a white dude introduced me to it. My long 18th birthday. On your 18th birthday? I never quit then, unless I went to prison or to jail. I tried to, to uh, I tried to keep cold turkey a few times, but I went to rehab nine, ten times. You know, it's rough. It's it, it's not that simple. So it's a, it's a rough. But like I said, it's up to you if you're ready. You know what I'm saying? So it's for be about you for being about ready. for about forty years, you've been in in up addiction and up and down. Up and down the road. What have you learned in those 40 years of battling? I, I lost a lot. I lost my loved ones. Just, it's a lot, I lost a lot. Excuse me. Like I said, I regret it, I regret it, but, and it's never too late. You can always, you know, you can always get your life together. I'm not that that old, but hopefully, I pray and hope, hope that that I can be able to clean myself up and reunite with my kids. How many That's kids do you have? 
I had seven, but one was uh, one was killed about six, seven months ago. I don't want to discuss that. My condolences for the loss of your son. My daughter. Your daughter. My condolences. Thank uh, you. Yeah. If they, if your children see this video, you want to talk to them directly. Uh, let them know anything. That I love them very much. That mom's struggling. You know, trying my hardest. Just bear with me. That's all I ask. I love you all. I love you all my heart. Don't forget that. Especially you, Chrissy. All of you guys, I love you. For other 18 year olds, they're at home, they're living life, they're Don't. clean. Somebody introduces them to, to, to substances on their 19th, 18th, 15th birthday. So, want to try this? What should they say? What should they do? To refuse it, to walk away. Don't listen to him. Just walk away. Excuse me. Yeah, don't pay attention to that devil. He's just trying to lure you in. Just walk away. Go home and watch TV or whatever. But just walk away. If That's you would, if you would have said no when you were 18, what would your life look like right now? Oh, I really can't say. It's really hard. It's really hard to see. You know, because uh, anything can happen and you, you don't expect it. You know what I'm saying? Excuse yeah. me. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Um, you were in the hospital recently. I see a little uh, tag on yeah. your wrist. What a CBI tag. Okay. I was in there for, uh, I didn't have no potassium, no iron, no kind of vitamins in my body. And uh, I ha um, I just stay in the hospital to get sweat on the diabetes for a week. Yeah, because I was really, I was really high. Your was body really was just. I made it. Okay, you almost didn't make it. I almost didn't make it. Wow. So that was kind of a, a wake up morning. Yeah. yeah. When did this happen? Uh, just uh, the six of. The, Last month. So about a month ago. Yeah. Um, it's gonna get really hot soon. It's gonna be a hundred degrees I'm today. I'm gonna be here. You, yeah, you definitely need to get I'm out of here. Be here. Okay. They're working on my rehab and everything. Okay, good. I just talked to him yesterday. Okay. So in six months, where will you be? What will you be doing? Hopefully, I'll be in, in a in a in home, hoping to to school people. And let him know what it's like being on the streets, how rough it is, and how dangerous it is. It's nothing pretty. It's pretty for a second, but that's it. It's not even pretty for a second, because you, 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 you think it is, but it's not. Lots of people, lots of young people I've talked to, they say, oh, I'm having fun out here. Uh, it's no rules. I get to wake up whenever. I get to do whatever. My mom's not bugging me. Don't. Don't, don't don't use that. You, you need to go home, stay home, and don't listen to, to like I said to anybody. Listen to your parents. I know you can put, you know put up a little bit here here and there, but stay home. Your parents love you. Don't come to the streets. That's all I ask. Absolutely. Um, what are you gonna do for the rest of today? <sighs> Hopefully, I can go get me a phone. And uh, I said, that's about it. Just try to get my phone. Are you talking about one of those uh, those government yeah. phone, yeah. free phones, quote unquote free? Yeah, I'm okay. eligible for one, yeah. Okay, uh, and that's good to have like for safety for, reasons, 911, emergencies. Emergency reasons, yeah. Yeah, especially you being by yourself out here on the right. streets, it, get, it could get dangerous, right? It's very dangerous. Absolutely, so. It is dangerous. Yeah, that's why you have to get out of here. I right, know. the sun, the pills, it's, it's not, the people it's out here wanting to do harm to you. It's like, it, you know, it's no good. It's no good. Nothing good out here. Nothing positive. There isn't. There isn't. For you or anybody else, right? Right. Uh, BB, I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you sharing your uh, story. You're I told welcome. you when I met you that the purpose of this channel is prevention through awareness. By you having the courage to share your story. 
a 15 year old BB at home is gonna watch this and be like, damn, my friends have been offering me blues. I'm gonna tell them no because I don't wanna lose everything the way BB has lost everything. That's right. And so I appreciate your courage. Your family should be proud of you because you're willing to save somebody else's life. But you really need to start working on saving your life, okay? Right. I can't save nobody else unless I do my own. Absolutely. So uh, I'm going to go get you something to eat. Stay safe. God bless. We'll talk soon, okay? Thank you very much.